Joyce, I noticed in the subtitle of your book that you describe your mother as resilient. Could you talk a little bit about that and how that affected her life? Oh, I just love to do that, Mary. You know, when I was writing this memoir, I, I knew I wanted to write it about my mother's aging and, and dying process, but I couldn't quite get together like what's the underlying theme and as I started really looking at my mother's whole life I realized that it, it was resilience that really helped her in her early years as well as you know the later ones. Um, my mother had a very what I consider very difficult um, younger years of her life when she was 17 uh, her mother died giving birth to a 13th child and my mother was the oldest girl of the 11 surviving children and so she really helped raise that family for a few years and then when she and that was during the Great Depression then she married my dad on he was a very poor farmer and so she uh, birthed eight children and raised many of them without electricity and running water so that was her beginning um, you know my mother never read of course Viktor Frankl uh, but I think she really lived his philosophy and Viktor Frankl who was that marvelous philosopher in Auschwitz who said we can choose our attitude in any circumstance no matter how difficult and I think my mother really did that and so when she reached her older years um, I saw her really choosing how she was going to age in terms of her attitude my mother was never full of self-pity. Uh, she didn't ever say, why me? Uh, she did have some difficulties with the limitations and diminishments of aging, but she always had a zest for life, and she, she was a social creature, and she loved to have people visit. And I, um, I just admired her a lot for the way that she went through her elder years. But it all began when, when she was very young. So I'd like to read um, two little questions that came in the beginning of the uh, chapter on facing hardships. And the questions I asked were, where do we find the courage to maintain confidence, to stay with what tries insistently to trample our spirit? How do we continue to keep the flame of hope alive in the corner of our heart when hardship strains to snuff it out? And I think the response to both of those is exactly what I had said a little bit ago. I think my mother chose how to face her hardships, and she knew that resilience would, would get her through. So I'd, I'd like to close this by reading a piece from the end of the chapter on Fly While You Still Have Wings, which was my mother's motto as she was aging. I grew daily in admiration of how my aged mother maintained a passion for life and kept the fire in her spirit alive in spite of a significant amount of physical pain and discomfort. Up to the very end, she entered into and enjoyed life to the utmost. Five years before her death, I went over some questions about aging with mom. When I asked for advice about growing older, her first response summed it up, go with the flow. And that's exactly what she did. <laughs>